Hello, good day everyone. Today our vlog is going to be about the history of Bislig City, my hometown. The name Bislig came from a Rattan family that grew in an abundance in the riverbanks of the place. Bislig is a small city but full of wonderful destinations. It has the biggest barangay named Mangagoy, which has a population of roughly 50,000 and is the largest barangay in the population in the entire province of Surigao del Sur. Bislig was the home of the defunct company Picop Resources Incorporated. This is how Picop Company looks right now. It was one of the biggest paper mill company in Asia which was the largest paper mill in Asia and one of the largest in the world. It is geographically situated at Barangay Tabon and its concession is a sanctuary of the Philippine Eagle. The permanent shutdown was officially ruled in mid-2008. Sadly, now it is currently being made as a tur tur also as a tourist destination because um, aside from it, from a uh, factory, it is also beside to the seaside and there are a lot of people who go there and um, go to the beach and have their vacation there. Bisilig's main tourist attraction is the Tinoyan Falls. This one is also a famous tourist spot in Bisilig City. It is mostly the best tourist attraction here in Bislig because um, it is like the biggest falls here in Sur Gaudo Sur. Uh, it is also known as the Little Niagara Falls. And also, Bislig City is divided into 24 barangays. And also, Barangay Mangagoy, the downtown area, often dubbed as by its residents as the Little City within the city because as you can see, if you go here, um, Bisig, uh, Mangagoy, Barangay Mangagoy is a very large barangay and it almost looks like it's the center of the city. But no, it's just a barangay. The Barangay Poblacion is just um, called Bislig. And, you know, it's just called Bislig. Um, and also, Barangay Mangagoy, it is the center trade and industry of Bislig, which has a population of roughly 32,000. Um, Manga barangay Mangagoy, uh, it is a small barangay, but it has a large population. Uh, it consists of 32,000. That's, that's a really big population, to be honest. It is the largest barangay in the city and in the entire province of Surigao del Sur in terms of population. Mangago in the other hand is often mistaken as a separate town though it is only just one out of 24 barangays. Like what I said, it's the biggest barangay here in the province of Surigao del Sur. Mm. Bislig was converted into a city in 2000. The first inhabitants of Bislig were believed to be from Agusan Valley in the hinterlands of Mindanao beyond the Magdiwati Mountains. These people used spears, bows, and arrows and are called Manobos. Bislig has a nice tourist spot, especially the Ocean View Park, which is located at Barangay Gamaon. You can see the picture here. It is. It has a very nice view and a decent um, food there. Uh, it is also beside the dollhouse. It is a museum, which is which are full of dolls. Um, the owner there, he collects dolls from different places in the in the earth, you know, and around the world, and also the best. Um, the, also, another tourist spot here in Bislig is the Bislig Baywalk. Um, it has a very nice view of the sea and gives you 
a field of sea breeze and also there are varieties of food stalls there like people go there for a jog and um, in the thousands it was really not developed but right now it feels like it's very nice to go there it's very windy so fresh air if you want to unwind you can go there watch the sunset yeah yeah that's the history of Bislig city um Bislig in the past is very it's a very ghost town it really has nothing nothing in the city in the town until it was converted into a city in 2000 it really developed the city it really developed the city into uh, the town into city because um, the tourist spots were developed the yeah there are many things that were changed after it was converted into a city so that's gonna be the history of this league city that's it see you next time bye